Today, we're gonna make one of the most essential modern classics out there. It's a tequila and mezcal based drink, and it's one of the creations that put Phil Ward on the cocktail map. It definitely is one of my favorite stirred agave based cocktails, and you should be able to order this at pretty much any establishment around the world that calls themselves a cocktail bar. But either way, after this video today, you'll know how to make the Oaxaca old fashioned. What's going on everyone? Welcome to my channel. My name is Johan and I want to start by giving a shout out to my girl Sue for rocking one of my hoodies. Sue, thank you very much. You're the best. The Oaxaca Old Fashioned was created in 2007 by Phil Ward while he was working at Death & Company Cocktail Bar in New York. Let me read to you what they say themselves about the cocktail from their book. We didn't know it when Phil added this drink to Death & Co's first menu in 2007. But the Oaxaca Old Fashioned would go on to symbolize our approach to cocktails. A simple recipe grounded in the classics, but with a level of innovation that comes from a deep understanding of the ingredients at play. The drink also represents an important breakthrough for us. Phil had started with a tequila based Old Fashioned he'd previously created and added an aggressively flavored spirit, mezcal, as a modifier. Remember I mentioned this or I talked about this in my previous video? This one? using, uh, for example, mezcal and tequila in the same cocktail, you might not want too much of the, the funky, smoky uh, mezcal, so you mix it with tequila, which is the same thing, but it's usually not as smoky. At the time, bartenders were struggling to make mezcal, a relatively recent addition to the craft cocktail scene, work in mixed drinks. Nobody had thought to cast it in a supporting role until Phil, and this opened the gates to countless exciting, more evenly balanced mezcal recipes. Today, the Oaxaca Old Fashioned is the most requested drink we've ever produced and the most replicated. We've found it on cocktail menus all over the world. The end. So for the ingredients, we're gonna do agave. This is just 100% agave that I put into a little nicer bottle. Reposado tequila. And reposado means that this tequila has been aged somewhere between two months and up to a year. Mezcal. And for those of you who don't really know what mezcal is, the easiest way to describe it or to, to explain what it is, is to say that mezcal is a smoky tasting tequila. And the reason why I say that is because both of them are made from agave and it's made in Mexico. Um, but there are a couple of differences that you should know about. Tequila, for example, can only be made from one agave called the blue agave. Mezcal can be made from a, a, a wide variety of different agaves, or even blends of agaves. Uh, I think the most common one used in mezcal is called espadín. Another difference between the two of them is that tequila can be made in five states, Jalisco being the, the most well-known one, and I think that's where the city of tequila is also located. Then mezcal can be made in uh, nine states, and Oaxaca is the one where most of the mezcal comes from, so Oaxaca Old Fashioned. Hence the name, right? And then, before I lose my breath, we're gonna do a little bit of Angostura bitters. Boop, boop, because it is an old fashioned after all. To make this cocktail, we're gonna need a mixing glass, a spoon, a jigger, and a julep strainer, or whatever strainer you got. Also, I'm gonna be using a, a rocks glass and I'm gonna have a big clear ice cube. So before I start mixing the drink, I wanna put the ice cube out, take the ice, I wanna take the ice cube out of the freezer to temper the ice. That way, when I pour the cocktail over it, it won't crack and it will, it will stay nice and clear. So I'm gonna get my ice. All right, let's do it. Two dashes of Angostura bitters. And then we're gonna do a teaspoon of agave. One and a half ounce of your tequila. And half an ounce of your mezcal. Gonna get some ice for this. This cocktail is gonna be served over ice, like I mentioned before, so you don't definitely don't have to stir it for that long. Some bartenders might disagree with me on this one, but I like to serve my cocktails that are served over ice, rather a little stiff on the first sip, and then let the, the cocktail dilute even more as you drink it. Instead of, some people say, oh, it should be finished and ready to go on the first sip, 
And sure, that's nice on the first sip, but then you have this whole cocktail melting away or this ice cube melting away. And I, I don't know, that's just my take on it. I'd rather have a little bit of a bite on my first sip and then have the cocktail dilute slowly as I drink it. You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? <clears throat> All right, so here we go. Quick stir. And since I yapped so much already, I would say that this, according to me, is done. Got my glass, my ice cube that should be nice and tempered now. And then we're gonna garnish it with a flamed orange peel. Give it a try. You really can't go wrong with this combination. Spirit, sugar, and bitters. Boom, that's it, that's all you need. And this cocktail is a perfect example why it's extremely helpful to know your classic cocktails. Whether you wanna excel as a professional bartender or if you wanna you know, create your own cocktails at home. Because if you know your classic cocktails, you just take the same recipes and you tweak them a little bit. And once you've done that a few times, you'll start realizing that it's pretty easy to come up with your own cocktails. But it's, I always say, know your classics first and then start creating. It makes it a lot easier. That's all I have for you today, but I'll be back next Friday as usual. If you like this video today, please hit the like button. And if you want to learn more, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'll, uh, I'll see you next week, all right? Uh, next week. That's Swedish for you. Have a great weekend and um, cheers. On the cocktail map. Feel the word. Mm. Damn, that is that is good.